Hi, I'm Amanda Bowles from the Rollin' Bowles on Instagram, and this is our 40-foot motorhome that we live in full-time, and we've lived in it for 17 months now. This video is sponsored by Buy Optimizers. Go to magnesiumbreakthrough.com forward slash Florb and get a 10% discount when you use coupon code Florb10 at checkout. David has been doing the same job for actually 11 years now. He works on a tug and barge in the Gulf of Mexico, and so he works three weeks on and three weeks off. We wanted to maximize our time together when he was home anyway. It just worked out perfectly. You know, we said, why wait until we're 67 years old to travel? Let's do it now when we're young and we have the energy. So our first rig was a 44-foot toy hauler with a Harley and a dually, and we had that for about a year, and then we sold that and made the switch to our Class A and our Jeep, which we love. We chose this Class A because it has the dual opposing slides, so this space opens up so much with the two slides. That's mainly why we went with this layout. We wanted an older one, so we got this one and renovated it in about a year. The first thing was painting. We did all of the painting in the cabinets and the walls, and um, then the next step was the flooring. That was the biggest project when we tackled that, and then kind of everything after that just kind of fell into place, so. This is our 40-foot Tiffin Phaeton. It's a 2005, and this is the generator in here. It's a 100-gallon diesel generator. We run this whenever we need air conditioner, heater. Over here, we have this little screen door that I love to open, and Bailey likes to look through here. She has a little doggy door right here. And then in here, David keeps all his tools for all the renovations, all of our leveling. In this storage, we have David's grill. Our propane tank for the grill is in there. Over here is all of our painting supplies. That's how the RV got painted, is this little section right here. This is the exhaust for our heater. We have both propane and electric heater, so that gives us the option to run on propane or run off electricity. This is our battery bay, and we have two chassis batteries and four house batteries, and these allow us to charge different things when we don't have electricity, so we can charge our phones, uh, run the TV. And this is our inverter here, so that allows us to use the batteries. And then down here is the tow bar for the Jeep, which allows us to tow our Jeep behind us when we're traveling. And then that's the ladder up there, so we can check the seals, anything like that that we need to do maintenance-wise, and also if we want to check out the views up there. It's really fun to go on the roof, so. These are our slides here, and then they have awnings on top of them, so that prevents debris, like leaves, snow, everything will pile on top of the awning cover, and then when you pull the slides in, it just falls off instead of like getting trapped in there, which it actually snowed a few weeks ago, and we were thankful we had those because otherwise we would have had to get on top of the roof and knock all the snow before we pull the slides in, but yeah, so those are pretty awesome, great to have. This is the electrical section of the RV, so we have have a surge protector here, the 50 amp wire to hook up to an RV park hookup. This is where all of our tanks are. 90 gallon fresh water tank, 70 gallon gray water tank, and a 40 gallon black water tank. We have our water filter, it even has like a soap dispenser and a light. This is my favorite storage section because it has this. So David keeps all his tools in here, and this is how we are able to do all of our renovations. This is our 35-gallon propane tank. This runs our fridge and our heating system, and then also our stove as well. It came with curtains, but they were a brownish color, and so I took them down and redid them with a different fabric that I liked better. That was a quarantine project when quarantine first started. So this is the entrance of our RV here, and we redid these stairs. They actually had carpet, and we redid it and just put a sticker that looks like tile. Super easy to clean, you can just wipe it off. Then you come in here, and this is the cockpit area. These chairs also swivel all the way around, so we can lounge in them, hang out, we can have company over and have extra seating. Plenty of storage up here. We have our TV here that swivels. This compartment has all of our 
slide buttons to bring them in, bring them out, all of the RV mechanics. Then we keep like Bailey's leash in here, sunglasses and these little handy baskets. Common question is what do you do with all the stuff on the shelves? And it's it's easy to, you know, just clean up and anything you put in the cabinets isn't going anywhere. So I handle that inside and then David does everything outside. I've only ever driven it like three times. We put the Jeep brake, it plugs into here. We'll have a phone GPS going and then we also have an RV GPS that will sit here and we input our height, length, and it tells us uh, where to go based on bridges and that sort of thing so we don't go under any bridges that we can't fit. And then also over here is our backup camera, all of the controllers for the hydraulics, put the jacks down, and then also to make it not look like an RV so much, we can close this off. Over here is the passenger side slide and we have this sofa, it's a jackknife sofa, so we can put it flat or put it into sofa position and we do that whenever we're driving so that we have the full hallway to walk through. These IKEA roller blinds are fantastic. And it's just so easy to just pull it and it comes up and down. I get asked a lot where these came from and they are IKEA book softle, but they do not make them, but they do um, make another similar blind that is currently in stock, so. So then over here begins the kitchen. We have this extra countertop space that slides out and gives us extra room to cut vegetables or just put things on the counter. And then this is our spice drawer. We have all of our spices, scissors, can opener, mandolin. Up here, we actually had a microwave that was this big and took up that space and it didn't cook well. So we took that down, put an open shelf, and then here is our three burner stove. We had a split basin, very shallow sink in here originally, and we took that out and put this big sink and we love it. When we replaced our sink, it cut into the cabinet. We had to cut the cabinet, but totally worth it. <laughs> our Ninja foodie, so it air fries, roasts, broils, bakes. And we also have this pantry storage. And then in here is our fridge. We actually had to strap our fifth wheel fridge in every time. It's so nice to just not even worry about this fridge. Like it's totally self-contained locks. So none of the doors are gonna fly open when you're driving. Originally we had a bench seat, but it just felt like a school bus. So we took it out, ripped it out. I got this chair and this is actually the original table. You can actually fold it down if you want to, but yeah, we just leave it like this. The storage under here, I keep my laptop in here and charger. Down here we have our electric fireplace. And not only is it very pretty, you can also turn the heat up or down. It's not just for looks. I've gotten that question before. It definitely heats. And Bailey will lay right here, right in front of it when she's cold. So yeah, we love this. This is basically to hide this. <laughs> so this is our uh, AC, our electric heat, gas heat, all of that. And then here's our shower. One of the reasons why we got this RV was because it has a big shower. David is six foot seven and it has the big skylight so that he can fit in the shower. And then here's the bathroom. I did this wall in here. This is a Mod Podge Maps. And then we put some shelving in here and it actually had a big cabinet, but um, we took it down, put a mirror and it just feels a lot less claustrophobic in here. Here is my vanity. So I keep all of my makeup and hair stuff and it's nice to have like a separate space to do my makeup and hair. I really didn't think I would use this that much, but I really love it. It's one of my favorite things about the RV. It's having like my own little space. And then if you come over here, this is the dirty clothes hamper. And this is super convenient because the washer dryer is right here. It does everything all in one. It's been fantastic. It's so nice to like not have to worry about switching things over. So this is our TV in the bedroom. We don't use it all the time, but it is nice if we just want to lay in bed and watch Netflix. So this is actually where the engine compartment is. So if you need to work on the engine, this lifts up and uh, you can get in there and work on it. And then we have a big king size bed, lots of storage up top. To get under here, originally you had to lift up the bed and the bed is super heavy and impossible for me to lift up. So I had David cut holes into this. And so I can just <laughs> slide these in and out and I can actually like get in there to store things. So it's a nice little storage area.
We definitely love to adventure and explore new places, and that's that's definitely why we love this lifestyle so much. You know, when he's home, he's home. We have three weeks together, so we really just like to maximize that time. And so being in a new place all the time really allows us to do that. It's kind of like, well, let's try it out, and if we don't love it, then we'll get a house again. But uh, you don't always need as much as you think you need. You don't need that big house. You don't need those fancy cars. Like you don't need all those things um, to be happy. And traveling is really what makes us happy. And we just want to share that with other people that if you want to be happy, get outside, go explore, go adventure. It can be hard to find work on the road and make money on the road, but there's definitely jobs out there. Like search for one, find one and make it happen. What's the number one mineral to beat stress, fatigue, and get better sleep? It's magnesium, but not just any magnesium. This is magnesium breakthrough from Bioptimizers. It blends all seven essential forms of magnesium into one effective supplement so that you can relax more, stress less, sleep deeper, and experience more peace throughout your day. Most magnesium supplements fail because they're synthetic or use preservatives, but when you have the seven essential forms of magnesium combined together, you get all of the benefits fits and your body gets a serious upgrade from your brain, pain and inflammation, and muscle tension. With this one simple action, you can reverse magnesium deficiency in all of its forms and start feeling the benefits quickly. So go to magnesiumbreakthrough.com forward slash Florb and use offer code Florb10 at checkout for a 10% discount. And even better yet, Bioptimizers is offering some free bottles of their most popular products, P30M and Mass Enzymes with select purchases. So check out the link link in the description or the top pinned comment and get yourself a free product and a discount today. Thank you for watching and have a great week.